you. What? All right. Um. So, uh, we got the Ricky Gervais show, season one, episode seven, <laughs> the diary. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, man. Show's funny as hell. Yes. Yeah, man. Well, let's go, man. You ready? Yep. <laughs> The diary. The diary. Like, well, who, is this Carl's diary? <laughs> the famous Carl's diary. <laughs> and Steve's diary. It's Steve's diary. For the past few uh, years, yeah. Ricky Javis, Stephen Merchant, and Carl Pilkington have been meeting regularly for a series <laughs> of endless conversations. Oh, this okay. is one of them. Testing. Not all about that. Is that right? Hello and welcome to the Ricky Gervais Show with me, Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant. Hello. And the little round headed buffoon that is Carl Pilkington. Alright. <laughs> Carl's been on holiday again, hasn't he? Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah, because Carl, you, you don't do anything. And you have weekends <laughs> off, you take at least five or six weeks holiday a year, even though you haven't got a job now, you're meant to be doing this. And yet you still so go. So your whole life's a holiday, basically. Yeah. Why do you need a holiday? To you, you, you potter around. It, you, it, your, your big, your big day last week was going to the cobblers. So, why do you need a break <laughs> so much this oh, week? It's, it's just that you know, it's it's good for your brain and that, isn't it? It's, it's it opens well, it up a bit. You are not evidence for that. Where did you go? Grand Canary. For a week. Yeah. Just sitting around. Um, well, there isn't much else to do at Grand Canary. I mean, I don't want to go slagging a place off because every time I seem to talk about somewhere, I get into trouble for it. Right. But it's just a, like a big rock. It's yeah. just vol volcanic, isn't it? It's and just... you must have looked like a, a little barnacle on that. Have you been there before? Um, been, been near it before to another rock, Grand which Canary. was just... But what, you had your fingers burned? Why did you go back? Because you think, well, they can't have loads of these islands that are the same, like, just a big rock with hotels on, they can't get away with it. So you <laughs> think, they well, the next one... get away with it. But why, why do you keep going to these places that are rocks? Why don't you investigate first? Ask your travel agent, is this a giant rock? Because, because that's what you do, innit? You go and find out yourself. I mean, <laughs> when, when Armstrong went to the moon, what was he expecting up there? That's a fact that it's a big rock, and he still went all that way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't so, know what so, that point was. No, so what, so what I'm saying is, though... What do you make of this place? Do you enjoy it, Grand Canary? It was just a big rock, but did you... you I bet you... the moon was better. <laughs> really? <laughs> what did you do? It was just, uh, well, um, it was big hotel, like, big, massive places where there's loads of people, and, you know, you go for your dinner. That describes a hotel. Yeah. No, no, so no. no. To me. You've nailed that. But I've the... been to a few, that sounds like it. No, but <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I mean, though? There's the sort, there's the nice small ones where mm. it's just enough people, but this is, like, mental. And, and it was all, it was, it was full of old people, really. Yeah. I mean, that's probably why it's called Grand Canaria, right? Because it's just... <laughs> Grand is everywhere. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> but what I thought I'd start doing is, uh start a diary. OK, why? OK. Just cos I, I sort of had a bit of time on my hands and that. Just <laughs> thought, write it down, write, write stuff down. And right? do you hope that this one day will become one of the great literary documents like Samuel Pepys' diary? Um, I haven't heard of that. Is it any good? <laughs> You've never heard of Samuel Pepys' diary? No, the, the, the most the, famous diary uh, other than probably Anne Frank's. I've yeah. heard of Anne Frank's and that, and I thought if she's Frank, sat in yeah. a, you know, a loft, knocking stuff up, not much going on in her life at that point, yet sure. she was still writing it down. Yeah, whereas she'd been to Grand Canary, yeah. I thought, so there is stuff going on that I can chat about. Start a diary. Sure. You started a diary? Yeah. And what are you going to do? You, did, you, did you keep it up every day? Yeah, just... Uh, oh, can I read it, please? Well, a diary is meant to be sort of... Can, uh, please, can I read some out on this podcast? <laughs> I... Carl... Some of it, though, is only relevant to me. It's sort of... Oh, filling... this is... Please, give me it. Oh, my God. I mean, this isn't... I haven't just... Look like... how big it is! <laughs> <laughs> it's oh one my of those God. desk diaries. It's huge. It's about a foot long. Uh... And it's... Ma... Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> Imagine if Anne Frank had been like that, as she got out. <laughs> right, uh, everyone would have heard it clank down on the desk. Yeah, but my writing's uh, quite big, isn't it? <laughs> oh look, give us oh, that. Do you, <laughs> know, do you know about joined up writing? Have you this heard about that? No amazing. Point. You can't read yeah, it. Yeah, really. right, okay. <laughs> look oh, at, look uh, oh look! The, oh my God! It starts on the first day. This is this is wonderful. Going on holiday to Grand Canaria today. Woke up to the news that Tony Banks had died. There was a piece of on the news about how everyone was shocked. Got me thinking about an invention that would be good. 
Right. <laughs> a, a watch that counted down your life. If it says you've got three days left, <laughs> go to the doctors. <laughs> <laughs> Told Susanna about invention. Uh, she said she wouldn't buy one. Great. But she said that about the iPod. How, uh, <laughs> and how would this device work, this watch? I mean, how would you, uh, how would you know when you were about to die? Have you, is that a concern? Again, not for you to worry about, presumably the boffins. And no, all I was thinking is that Tony Banks fell, you know, he died and everyone was shocked about it. But if you had, like, a little watch on... But how did it, well, you can't just say, wouldn't it be good? How, how would this work? Yeah, um, I imagine you're in the patent office going, got an idea. They go, oh, certainly, yeah, Mr. Bogdan, what's your idea? Watch, they're counting down your life. Oh, how does that work? What? Just, just well, wear it, just pop it on your wrist. No, 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 what do you mean, just pop it on your wrist? How does it work, just pop it on your wrist? Brilliant. You're an idiot. Well, it's interesting that he goes on. The flight to Gran Canaria was a bit bumpy. I thought about the clock that counts down your life again, and I wondered if it would know if you were going to die in a disaster. <laughs> no, <laughs> he's querying his own, his own his life. He's wondering yeah. if it would know. He's invented this. He's and invented it. now he's having <laughs> shot. Uh, a fellow on the plane was reading Koi Man. <laughs> It was a fishing uh, magazine. I glanced over and noticed he was reading the Pond of the Month article. Don't think they could make it into a weekly magazine. Well, to be fair to you, I because I remember seeing a guy on the train once reading Carp Monthly, yeah. a magazine do dedicated entirely to carp, and it had it had Carp of the Month. And I just thought, you know, once you're like three months in, the editor must be stressing. Have we got any more carp? We got a carp that's actually done anything. That's I reckon if they used the same one twice, there wouldn't be many complaints. No one would be noticing. <laughs> no, that's the carp they used two years ago. There was a really fat bloke on the plane. He yeah. was playing on his PSP. While I waited to go to the toilet, I looked at what game he was playing. It was darts. He's that fat and lazy, you can't even face playing a more active game on a PS console. <laughs> Me and Suzanne got off the coach along with a couple of old people. One of them was in a wheelchair. I don't think it was wise of them to come to a volcanic island with a wheelchair. <laughs> Everywhere is pretty rough, paving and slopey. Guess I'll keep an eye on it as the weeks go on. Day two in Gran right? Canaria. Brilliant. We're only at day two. Uh, the hotel's a bit odd. I've never seen as many cross-eyed people in one location. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's amazing! Yeah. Well, you may as well right. let me read on a bit more. No, this is amazing. Well, we'll come back this to is a brilliant then. diary. This might be the best diary ever written. Oh. <laughs> While sat listening to the kinks on my iPod, I wondered if everybody thinks uh. in their accent. I know I do. What's, what's this? What are you talking about? <laughs> just, just that... Uh, you know, when, I, when I've been sat there lying on the lounger, right? And I was thinking about stuff. How do you it. know you think in your accent? Tell me a typical thought. Because because what I mean is, say say if I was like, if I saw something, right? Do you know how I say like, oh, that's a bit weird, isn't it? That, <laughs> no, but that was I being don't have said. to. But in I, when you think, I don't think the sentence is like I'm saying it. It's just a thought. The thought appears. It's conceptual and it's already there. It's not like um, I go, Rick, what? just uh, looking at that fellow over there, were you? Yeah, I was yeah. Um, I was thinking it looks a bit weird. Oh, so was I. I don't, I don't <laughs> think out whole sentences. Whereas you have, Carl, Carl, li Carl, stop listening to the kinks for a minute. Look over there. More, more cross-eyed people. <laughs> no, well, that's, yeah, that's Is that how your mind works? In a way, yeah. And Brilliant. that's when, it, because, because <laughs> I thought... That explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's great that he has to think about whole sentences. Because I thought, that's weird, isn't it? Like, I didn't think, that's weird, isn't it? And I thought, no. I actually think in my accent. And then I thought, <laughs> does Stephen Hawking, does he, when he's doing his maths and that, mm. is he, I don't know where he's from, so I don't know what his accent would be like. I think he's from uh, Kent or Cambridge or Oxford right. or something. Right, so... So you think he might think in his... In, in his, his voice, in that, yeah. in that voice In his computerised voice. <laughs> Just wondered. Had lunch inside today due to shite weather. <laughs> Sat next to an old fella. Old men's uh, ears and noses maybe. carry on growing as they get older. Suzanne noticed his fingers were fat too. Maybe they continue to grow. Suzanne didn't laugh when I said her arse had the same problem. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> day three, cloudy start to the day. Had pie and chips in a cafe. Had a bit of an argument with Suzanne because I thought it was daft that we were paying for food when we were on an all-inclusive holiday. Changed my mind when I saw the... They sold pie, though. <laughs> <laughs> the cafe was called Tattoos. The fellow who owned it didn't have any tattoos. But we never saw his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Had a drink in a bar. Everyone sat and watched one of the local cats lick its bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> it's the greatest holiday in the world! 
<laughs> no, it's not. That's a horrible uh, vacation. The entertainment in that town. Went back to the hotel, let us sleep before tea. I love the fact you're like, you're moaning about old people, but you're just as bad. <laughs> You've done nothing so far. <laughs> he's done nothing, he's got a big hip. <sighs> Woke up to news about ducks being badly treated. There was a really ugly one with bent legs. <laughs> I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Why does he write this down? Oh, God. Oh. There is a fat bloke from Bolton who is in the pool as I write this. He's got a big tattoo on his back, but I can't work out what it is. Dot, dot, dot. He just got out of the pool and burped. <laughs> just felt like you had to keep us abreast of that. <laughs> Everything's in the diary. I've just seen it get to the point where you're going, breathed in. <laughs> yeah. Breathed out again. <laughs> there was a big fat fella in the sea who kept his T-shirt on. If you're big and fat, is there more chance of you getting burnt because there's more of you on show? I asked Suzanne and she said she didn't know in that sort of not listening kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to hang about to see if the fat bloke was going to get in the kayak. <laughs> but Suzanne, <laughs> Suzanne said we had a head back. <laughs> Slow him way in to see if he's going <laughs> to capsize. <laughs> We go home today, so we got up early to get the last bit of cloud. <laughs> no, it's, it's just that it wasn't... Uh, it, it's, it's not that sunny all the time. I mean, I, I was sat in in weather that... If it was like that air, there's no way I'd be sat in the garden. <laughs> yeah. But because you're on holiday, it's like, well, we've got to sit in it. Put your coat on. <laughs> so are you going to continue to write this diary? Every yeah, single it's day? It's amazing. Keep this diary up. No, it's amazing. I, I, no, I will, I will keep it up, because what I find as well is, I think earlier on, before I went away, I think I did learn something, and because I wrote it down, I, I remembered it a bit um, better. So... What was that? I just was thinking then, I forgot it now, but... <laughs> <laughs> but I remembered looking back at it and not having to read it all, because I remembered the end of it before I read it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Harry from Canterbury wants to know whether any of us have ever had any cruel nicknames. Um, he claims that he's uh, quite tall and rather hirsute, and he says he's often called Lurch or Wolfie. Um, he's always thought that Carl looks a bit like Mr Potato Head. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, no, there's no potato that round, but... Um... I suppose you could fashion a potato to be that round. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we could, if anyone can uh, carve a potato into the roundest head ever, <laughs> yeah. pop a couple of eyes on it. Make um, it look as much like Carl as possible. Exactly. But, yeah, did any nicknames? Did you ever have a nickname uh, written? No, mine was boring. I didn't have any. It was just around the name, like Jerv or something like that. No, I didn't have nicknames. I always wanted a nickname. Um, I just thought it was quite cool for some reason, particularly because gangsters always seem to have nicknames. Lefty. You know, fingers. <laughs> yeah. Lefty, yeah. Uh, Scarface. Yeah, and so I I decided that I thought because no one was giving me a nickname at school, it was kind of annoying, or well, certainly not to my face. Yeah, that I decided to just come up with one. Yeah. and so I went. I remember I was at lunch once, and I just said to my mate Phil, "How old were you? Uh, twelve, thirteen. Brilliant. I just said to him, uh, <laughs> Phil, um, don't know if you know, mate, but um, people aren't calling me Steve anymore. Everyone's everyone's calling me Spud now." <laughs> now I don't know why what? I thought Spud. It's weird. We should talk about Mr. Potato. Head. I don't know why I thought Spud was a was a cool nickname. I just I think it's, it's a grown up name though, isn't it? And it's also because I think it sounded like uh, it was probably either something that you'd find in one of those kids books, like the Famous Five, or like the Bash Street Kids. They'd be Spud. And I always imagine with Spud, he's not the leader of the gang, but he's a reliable member. I think you know Spud is the biggest <laughs> lorry driver in one yeah. particular sort of uh, yeah. car park. Yeah, and he always comes yeah. Spud. Yeah, and he gets out, and he's big and massive, and it, Spud can eat two breakfasts. <laughs> exactly, yeah. But I just, in my mind, it was, yeah, that I would be one day part of a gang, and it's, I'm Pinky, this is Joe Joe, and the tall guy Spud. <laughs> and, <you> know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Really cool. and he just went, oh, yeah, right. And no one started, and I was hoping he'd go, you yeah, know, everyone's calling Steve Spud. Yeah, but of course... Hey, Spud, the first time I said Spud, you go, what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You'd be really proud, <laughs> wouldn't you? No. <laughs> Did you have a nickname? Um, not, not... Really, I mean, there was a lot of people on the estate that I grew up on. You know, nicknames are, are big things on estates and that. Yeah. Um, a lot of my dad's mates, right? What what their nicknames did was tell you about them. Do you know how I said about the Elephant Man's a good name? Yeah. Because, like, you know what you're going to get. If someone said, Elephant Man's popping around in a bit, it wouldn't <laughs> be a shock when he walked in. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so so it, was, it worked in that sort of, uh, sort of thing. You know, so there was, uh, there was John the Screw, right? John the Screw? Yeah. Whether he had sex or not, or he worked in a prison? No, he had a DIY shop. <laughs> 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 so, 
So, so you had him, right? right? There was uh, <laughs> there was Fred the Veg. Yeah. Which is, I, yeah. I assume it's because he was at the same IQ as you. Yeah. Or, or or he was in a coma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. There was there was uh, there was my uncle Tattoo Stan. All oh, right. right. Yeah. He had he had like loads of tattoos that he'd just done himself. Oh <laughs> right. God. The the problem was because he did his tattoos himself. <laughs> the ones on his left arm were really good because <laughs> he was right-handed. On his right arm, rubbish. Right? Um, so so there was him, uh, um, yeah. and there was um, Jimmy the Hat. Jimmy who, the Hat. Yeah. Did and he that, always wear a hat? No, he didn't. That that's that was uh. the point there. That he, he never wore a hat. That's amazing. Brilliant. <laughs> How can you pick up on someone never wearing a hat? How would you ever notice? I'll tell you what, I've noticed something about Jimmy. What? Go on. He doesn't wear a hat. <laughs> why, why was he not called Jimmy the Parrot? Because he, he never carries a parrot. <laughs> no, uh, well, that's just the way, I mean, that's how they work, isn't it? I mean, it, that, it that, here comes Jimmy Three Legs. Why'd you call him that? He hasn't got three legs. I don't really <laughs> have one apart from, um, like, I had a CB. You know, like, when you'd go on a CB radio and have a chat to people. Oh, this was a craze in the, uh, was it late 70s, early 80s? Sort of early 80s. And, uh it was just short band radio, wasn't it? Everyone yeah. had these little handsets and they'd speak to each other in the sort of local area. Yeah, it was mainly, I think it started off with like Lorry drivers, isn't it? Yeah, truckers, yeah, because there was that, that thing from like about 1970... Convoy. Was, convoy, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so so I had one of them and the handle, I had, I had two handle different Handle means your nickname, your yeah, name. Yeah, there's loads of code, code stuff. Yeah. Um, I had I had a couple, I had, um, there was Pilkey 01, because right. like I said, there's a lot of Pilkingtons and that. In Manchester, so if someone wants Pilky O2, it's open. Do you know what I mean? They can have it. And then, um. <laughs> like, it's, like it's people scrabbling. For, oh, I want yeah. Pilky pil pil O1. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, because I did boxing and that. Well, you did it once. <laughs> yeah. I'd, uh, I'd box a boy. Because I thought that that's quite a good image as well. That's kind of like people going, oh, don't mess with him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If he asks what your handle is, tell him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's boxer boy and that. Yeah. So. Just had them two, and I used to just go on there and... Pointless. What is the point of this? Well, you just, you just meet people, don't you? And you so don't meet people. You say, what's your handle? You go, box boy, what's yours? <laughs> uh, uh, rubber duck. All right, cheers. No, but then, but then you'll say, like, then you go, oh, uh, what's your 20? What's that mean? That's, where are you? Well, why don't you say, where are you? Because just in case there's someone who's listening in who, who you know, you hear about this all the time, don't you? People listening, jotting stuff down. Oh, right, so just in case someone in the world doesn't know what handle means, they're, they're out of the loop. They're yeah. out of the loop. It's, hardly the, it's not a difficult code to crack, is it, yeah. if you're trying to track someone? It's hardly the head of the mafia uh, talking to each other because the FBI are on the wire. It's ridiculous. Like, I go, oh, you keep saying that, wash your handle, and they come back with something else. I can't work out what's going on. No, it's like, it's like anything, isn't it? That's what, codes, that's, what, you know, that's what codes are all about, isn't it? You, Set them up and that. Go on and tell me, tell me the code then. Reveal it long last to the world what yeah. these codes are. Right, so yeah. what's your 20? Where oh, are you? This is better than the Enigma. <laughs> yeah. Right, now here we go. Right. How many candles are you burning? Uh, <laughs> does that mean how big's your car or something like that? Horsepower or something? See? No, that's, that's yeah. Oh, what time is it? No, how old are you? What, how old are you? Okay. Right. right. Uh, how many candles are you burning, of course? Yeah. So what, what's the answer come back? You go, uh... I'm 15. 14. Brilliant. That code, <laughs> that code, there's no one going to work that out. I wish you'd have kept a diary of this, because this has been fascinating. Now and again, someone will come in and go, uh, side on, right? What's that mean? And that means, like, there's someone sat there listening into this Ooh. chat and going, this sounds interesting. Yeah, no, it does Unlikely. <laughs> yeah. And they, they want to join in, so they sort of go, side on, you go, side on, bring it in, right? And they go, all right. <laughs> How many candles are you burning? <laughs> yeah. Wash your that, 20. That's a good round again. Yeah. See you later. Wash your 20. How many <laughs> yeah. candles are you burning? Oh. And, I mean, it seems to me that what you should have done is make made a note the first time so that when you then speak to them again, you don't need to ask them those questions. <laughs> Can I just confirm that you're burning 15? <laughs> <laughs> it's that time again. Do the jingle. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna do a really good one. Okay, go. Okay. Oh, <laughs> monkey news! Yeah. Right, do you know it's it's nearly time for the Winter Olympics again. Yeah, okay. Is it? Okay. They sort of come round every four years. Is it this year? Is it? Yeah. And uh, the 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 last one that happened. Four years ago. Yeah. 
There was a there was a bit of an incident. Oh no! Do you remember any winners that were monkeys? In any of the no, tournaments? Of course not. No. no. So, no. so it's anyway, not going to be that because it wouldn't be true. So, yeah. so anyway, one one of the uh, popular events, um, bobsleigh. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, you know, it, you know, it works. Well, you it's need like four men. Is it four men or five? Four men. men. It's four. Yeah. So it's definitely four men that you need, need on four a men. team. Is it and two? And there's two team bobsleigh. But as well. they're always men. Is that right, Rich? Don't <laughs> just clarify. With the Winter Olympics, you can't have any animals taking part. No, and they and they also <laughs> well, no, because they, they wouldn't be allowed. And two, there's no way they could disguise it because not only would they see it straight away, right? But they have blood tests. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> so they would show up. So they definitely know if it was. Well, they have blood tests. Non it's impossible. It would be literally impossible <laughs> to have anything other than a human. Take involved in a bobsleigh team. Fine, OK, so carry on. So anyway, the, the, the country was doing really well in the qualifying stages. Oh, yeah. But the problem was there was, there was like, two members mm. who were getting all, like, the press and stuff. Oh, right, yeah. Anyway, so this one member was getting fed up because the, the other two were getting all the press and what have you. So he said, I, I'm not happy with this. Yeah. I'm jacking it in. Oh. So they were like, you're joking, we've, we've qualified, we're getting into, like, the main yeah. race and everything. Mm. You can't leave us now. And he said, well, you could do it all... On your own before, you know, you, the way you were acting, like you didn't yeah. need me, so I'm going. Yeah. So the clock's ticking, it's getting close to the big race and everything. Of course it is, yeah. They're like, what, what are we going to do here? The substitute like, they took with them. <laughs> what are they going to well, do? Have, yeah. yeah, they would take the substitute, so get no, in. No, they didn't, they, didn't, they didn't have any of them and that. What, it's, what, you know, a lot I, of injuries and stuff. Or just get a mate to do it, just get a mate or a friend yeah, or, right or the coach to do it, yeah. But, you know, there's a lot of responsibility on these people and, mm. you know, you won't want to let your country down and that. And they're like, what are we going to do? Get a waiter or anyone. Anyway, the time comes to the race. Seems to be three people on it. There appears to be three, OK. Yeah. Um, they start <laughs> off, they're whizzing round the track faster than normal. They, they're beating their old record. Right, amazing. Because the new fella they've got a little bit smaller. Ah. Oh. Right, is, so is he in the bobsleigh or is he pushing? He's, he's in it. Oh, right. OK. Right. He's wearing a uniform and a helmet, though. He's, he's got a helmet he looks on, like. he's got the kit face. on. Um, <laughs> nobody knows who he is, but the country's do. loving it. They're, they're like, well, it looks like we're going to break all our records, you know. Good. It's good that they found someone new. Yeah. Bet the other fella who left is is sort of kicking himself. Thinking, oh, I've been part of this. <laughs> anyway, this wasn't a bloke that had very short legs and long arms, was it? Anyway, what happened <laughs> is they're whizzing round the track and what have you. Faster than ever, yeah. Faster than ever, and the press are like going, beating all records here. They mm. started taking photographs. <gasps> a lot of flashes from the cameras and stuff. Right, of course. Suddenly, the bobsleigh goes a bit sort of mental and whizzes off off the track. Ambulance comes rushing over and stuff. The other two members are looking pretty nervous for some reason. Mm -hmm. oh, what are they doing? They're saying, look, um, don't take the helmet off because, you know, you can do more damage to the, the well, neck. Well, don't tell the paramedics <laughs> how to do it. Uh, I mean, <laughs> they know their job. Yeah, they know yeah, their yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. So Please, they were like, yeah. just, just, you know, and plus, you know, he doesn't. He, he came in at last minute to help us out. He doesn't want everyone to know who he is. He's, yeah. he's not after the limelight yeah. like some of the members we used to have, but he just, yeah. he just was helping his country out. <laughs> yeah. Leave the helmet on. Anyway, they get him in the ambulance and stuff. The other two are looking a bit worried and what have you. They're oh. gutted, they lost the race. The little bloke, is the bloke not saying anything? Is he not? He's, he's in the ambulance now. Is he not saying anything, though? Anyway, we reported that one of the ambulance drivers said <laughs> that, that on that on that sort of dreadful night when, you know, the country lost out on a medal in the bobsleigh, he sort of reported that there was a monkey in the back of the ambulance. People were, like, going, ah, oh, you're joking, I don't remember you? this. I don't remember this he, not, he, Well, this is it, you see, because he sort of swept it under the carpet oh, a little bit. Right. They were like, this Bullshit. is crazy talk. This, this is crazy again. talk. Once talk, absolute shit. Where did you get this, this from? This is crazy talk, right? It is but, crazy talk, and it's from the mouth of Carl Pilkington. And, and, but, the, but the weird thing is, that backed it up. <laughs> Following week, um, there was a story of some people who visited the zoo saw a chimp in a neck brace. <laughs> That's this week's monkey news. Ah, shit. So that's supposed to happen in the Olympics. That was 100% not true. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there was any part of that story that had any truth to it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they got blood tests and all kinds of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, when you make it around the athletes, man, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Where does he get these stories from? <laughs> Where does he get these stories from? Really bad. A couple of good bad. ideas, though. I think you do think in your accent. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I believe so. I believe yeah, so. You think in your accent. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you have more conversations with yourself than, you, than you'll ever have with anybody yeah. Anybody out there. So I imagine most people, when they think, they think in their own voice. 
Yeah, and your voice, the voice you hear yeah. when you talk. Yeah, when you talk. It'll be scary if you heard anything else. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hard. <laughs> this. Like, what the fuck that thought sound like? That? Yeah. <laughs> who, who, who is this? I'm you. <laughs> what? I'm the different you inside. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, but the uh, diary, I think um, that might be the, you know, top three diaries of all time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be funny, man. Ah, uh, shit. A whole bunch of strange points of view. Perspectives, man. Yeah. Diaries are a great thing, man. Pick yeah. I, you know, I guess I've never yeah. taken part in a diary. Maybe you should read it in 50 years. Do it for your kids. The diary of Frankenstein. I mean, shit, honestly, like, <laughs> you really, people don't even need a diary now. All your shit's on Facebook and on Instagram and shit. True. I guess, like, Facebook's, like, people's diary. You can go back and look at the last yeah. 10 years of somebody's life. Yeah, some people don't like other people to be reading their diaries. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, some people don't like people. Some that's why you got friends and, and not friends on Facebook. You get to choose who your friend on Facebook is. But still, man. <laughs> no, I'm playing. But yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Anne Frank Anne Frank's diary. Yeah. Now they said what, what was the other diary they mentioned? Uh Carl was it Carl? No, it wasn't Carl Gilman Pete's. or something. It was something yeah. Pete's. Yes, yeah, the Pete's. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Peeps. Those are the famous peeps. diaries out there, man. Yeah. 